Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, oh, get it. Ladies and gentlemen. Get it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is another wonderful Wednesday here in Conversations and Situations. It's yeah. the homie IQ and the rest of the crew. Y'all come on sit in with us, but we got shit to say, man. Pickety Pickety Posh is in the building. Giovanni is on mute. <laughs> Giovanni, are you on mute? <laughs> but he happy, though. He on mute, but he happy. Giovanni is <laughs> off of you. And Giovanni looked like he had about 10 dinner rolls in the face. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, he looks right. And you got Harpy, Sheila the Harpy. I am in the house. We are doing it, y'all. We're in it again. Welcome, you guys, to Conversations and Situations. Woo! Another Wednesday on deck. All right. Here we go. Let's dive into it. So I, I took the liberty of randomly pulling people's names out of hats to figure out who was going to start off our conversation today with these top fives or top threes. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the person whose name that came out of the hat was... Uh-uh. <laughs> <G. laughs> so, did you tell everybody what we're doing? What are, what are, we, what are we talking about today? So, ladies and gentlemen, we this is going to be a random episode. We're going to talk. We have our own lists of our top five whatevers. Top fives or top threes. But it is our own list of the stuff we need to talk about. Like mine, I had a full-blown three-hour argument on Facebook about this top five. So, we're going to have this talk. Okay. Gio, I think you're going first, he said. All right. So, mine is going to be... A struggle. Woo! A struggle. So, I was going to do um, top favorite artists of all times, but then that's a whole conversation for itself. It is. Okay. So, I thought of it that. Is. Um, so, I'm going to do top three today. Keep it simple. I'm going to do favorite artists. I'm going to do favorite food and favorite place to travel. That's okay. three. That's three different sections. You go, yeah, there really are. So, are you just going to use your top one of each one of those? Is that your top? So, your list is your your list of top your top your number one your three number one things or something maybe. Yeah, so my top three is my top <laughs> number one of those particular things. Okay, <laughs> okay, we'll take that. All right, go ahead. I'm gonna drink my wine while you do that. I'm listening. So. I could, you know, I could, do, I'm going to keep it simple for the people at home. I'm going to do music today, okay? You know, I had, I had something else planned for y'all, but I'm just going to do music today because I'm going to show y'all how versatile I am. Okay, let us into your world. We let us into your world. Okay. Oh, so, my top three artists, and I'll explain why. Top Are they going to be in order of best or worst? I mean, your best best or your best worst? Best, best. Okay. Best, best. And, oh my gosh, should I do top five? No, 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 I'm going to do, I'm going to do top three. Because this is pretty interesting in itself. Okay. Pull yourself so, <laughs> top three. Get number it. one, Onika Tanya Moraj, a.k.a. Nikki Minaj. Nikki Minaj. <laughs> Period. Number two, Mariah Carey. Okay, number let's look three. Up so I had no idea who he was talking about when he was when he everything that he called. That's her real name, uh, Onika. Yeah. And no idea who he was talking about. I was so lost. <laughs> the only reason, the only reason I, the only reason I know her real name is because I have a client that had me tattoo her real name on her wrist. No. So I'm, I'm a fan, but I'm not that big of a fan. No, okay. Absolutely not. Because let me tell you something. I love my soon-to-be husband, but I will never get his name tatted on me. And no. that's on life. So right. I'm definitely not getting no that's artist a, or anything else tatted on me. That's a different conversation for a different day. That is a different conversation. <laughs> continue. It. Continue for the people well, I, yeah. to tune in to conversations and situations for different conversations, for different situations, you know about? for different days. Okay. So, so we got one, Nicki Minaj, two, mm -hmm. Mariah Carey, three. So the Mariah Carey, is so she's a good choice. I love her too. She's actually probably my favorite singer of all time. 
I love Mariah. I'm not even gonna lie. She has, as as far as artists go, she definitely has one of my favorite cup sizes. You know what? <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> just be all right. Just be <laughs> all her and Jill, Between her and Jill Scott, bro. bro. Oh, my God. Jill. I really I got, keep I got going, Jill. I got to meet Mariah last year for Christmas in New York City. It was mm. the most amazing experience. She's beautiful. She's the same person that she is. In, she's a, and she's a midget. Entertainment. Um, she, she is. Yeah, but she was an hour late, so mm -hmm. that's that's another, mm -hmm. another conversation. That's she what was I like about artists. I she was. I remember that. And um, <laughs> number three would have to be the legendary, the iconic mm -mm. Luther Van Dross himself. Hold on, hold on. You talking about big? Curl not quite right, Luther or skinny Luther? Because I don't fuck with skinny Luther. I don't like skinny Luther. I would say I thick, curl not quite right. Not quite right, Luther. That's my boy. Skinny Luther, you. you can keep skinny Luther, bro. I'm, skinny Luther was not the move. I'm fucking Can you remember that little curl he used to write? Yeah. It's so funny. Ignorant. Y'all catch me. If y'all catch me on a bad day on conversations and situations, I might have that little mm -hmm. throw down on my floor <laughs> right now. <laughs> it was it was there that first day. Like all, it was there that first day. All the rest of your hair was over here, but that one piece down right there. Yes, you know how to put it out for him. Don't do Jerry curl strong. And you know he can see it because it's right outside his eyes. So you know yes. he can see it. <laughs> I <laughs> can <laughs> okay, but, I can do six. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Gio. I chose those three artists because, as I said before, I'm very versatile. Mm -hmm. I could go on with more artists, but I choose not to. Um, no, no. These three are in my top three for very, very specific reasons outside of music for who they are as individuals. So that's why I'm very selective about people who I look up to musically yeah. and mm -hmm. as an um, individual. Right. So, All right. Absolutely. Yep. So I, I, I hope I set the tone for everybody else. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> all right. All right. IQ, who's next? Uh, that would be you, Miss Heartbeat. Would be me. That would be you. Okay. So my list is the three craziest pet peeves that I have. Oh, 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 I can name I'm the first ready. one. Wait a minute. I know. I can. We can, I can name the first one. No, no, that's going to be my last one probably. Okay, so the, the first one. What number? What number is feet? Number three, we're going to go with number three. I'm going to start at number three. And it's not even feet. <laughs> it's not. Stop. It's not the number. So number three, uh, the, although it's, it's, it's one number, it, it is some animals that I don't like to look at. Some animals that they, I don't like to look at pigs. I don't like to look at bats. I don't like to look at rats. I don't like to look at pigeons. And I don't like to look at hamsters. I hate them all. I do too. This, I why? What the... What did that little hamster do to you? I hate him. He looked like a rat. He looks like a rat. Sydney, when Sydney was a child, she talking about mommy. Can I have a hamster? I was like, girl, I grew up in a project. I ain't gonna feed no damn rats. <laughs> I ain't gonna feed her So I hate everything that look. I, I don't like the sound of a pigeon make. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever that sound is, I they hate it. are very creepy because they got those little small eyes. They all look like rats to me. When I used to, when I grew up in the projects, they all look like the rats that I grew up with. That's all. Yep. <laughs> so that's them East Lake rats. Was the rats as big or small? In East Lake, them, them rats was big. Outside, they was really big outside in the house. They were more like mice, but shit, right <laughs> as a rat. Especially when I was young, a rat. Yeah. I and when we, oh, when we oh, moved, and when we oh. moved up the hill, we had this big dumpster right outside the house. Yeah, like, yeah. It was oh, oh my right God. there. I hate and them, them rats, bro. Okay, so the number two thing that I don't like right now is 
I don't like people to talk to me in my face because of COVID. Like, okay. yes. <laughs> like, please. Give me six feet. I'm like, six feet, but I'm eight feet and right I'm, now. Like, and I'm going go to go ahead and say it. I'm going to say it because ain't nobody else going to say it. But white people like to talk to you like this. Hey, how you doing? First off, back up. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> What's up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> what we doing? <laughs> First off, can no you, mask on. First off, can you back no up? Mask. Please. First off. Can you back up? Off, I can smell your nose hair. Can you back up? I can, I can see your teeth. Back away and give me 10 feet. Please. Please. Oh, Everybody right now. I How many close, be? Okay. Now, the number one people. thing for everybody that knows me, knows the craziest pet peeve of mine so what I don't like is what IQ, I mean, uh, posh. Dirty socks. Oh, or socks. Not even dirty socks. That's Wait. what it was. It's, it's socks. It's not even dirty socks. It's just Any socks. socks that have been worn, if yes. they have been to your feet, yes. even if they're coming out of the washing machine, she Baby. don't want to touch them. Baby children's she socks. Pulls socks. It doesn't matter. Pulls socks. Who pulls socks out the washing machine like this? Out the washing machine. Oh. They're clean. Let me just say this. My mouth is getting watery not now, right now, just talking about it. Uh, I knew it was something. So, I knew it was it's so serious. Socks. It sucks. That's what it was. So I got I got something to add to the socks situation because I don't like wearing socks to bed. It's so not a thing for me. Ew. And two, two, if you wear your socks around the house, technically it collects dust. So I'm not wearing those same socks out in public. That's why when I leave, to go to work or go to a public function or anything. First of all, I put my shoes and socks. Walk around by the your house in socks, not me. I don't walk around in socks. Oh my god, I keep no, the guys. When oh, my no. husband and I, when we would start dating, he used to look at it. Oh, that is disgusting, dude. That is <laughs> so nasty. He's so wrong for that. When my husband and I first started dating, we he used to wear socks. He got, all the time. He get in all the time. He so wore much. socks. I'm in his house now. All the time. We dating. I'm in his house. I'm like, you gonna take those off? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, um, no. I used to kind of sleep in them every night. Socks, bro. My mouth. I knew it was some. We gonna have to go move on because my mouth gets another speed in a minute. <laughs> so that the is reason, disgusting. The reason why I like to wear socks around the house is because. I cannot stand the idea of me walking and there's lint collecting underneath my feet. What about I can... slippers? So oh. I have house slippers. Oh, but shoes. the moment that I have to take off the slippers to do something else yes. is a moment where I have I don't okay, so I don't wear socks and slippers together. It's a weird thing. So if I go into the bathroom, I do not like bare feet on the bathroom floor because uh, it's hard work for it, and I feel like if I have a piece of lint on my foot, I'm, I keep baby wipes for a reason. I like cleaning off my feet because I cannot, I can't stand I the they, idea of dirt or lint being on my feet or my clothes. I think there's so, a, I think there's a word in the psychiatric book for that. No, I think he's maybe a just little crazy. My, my crusade. Okay, who's next? He just joined my crusade. Who's next? Come on, Posh. Get it out there. Come on. Posh. You're on mute. Hey, yep, yeah, yeah, come on. Let him out. Okay, I'm going to do a couple, three different things. I'm not going to do all the same. Okay. I'll do, okay, I'll start off with my first, my favorite performer. Okay. Maybe a little out. What's the word I'm looking for? Justin overrated. Jimbo. I know. I think I know who this is. I Justin mean, Jimbo. Everybody knows who it is. Okay. We Justin can't Bieber. go wrong without the Queen Bee. I mean, yes. she yes. is amazing. Oh I love her. She gives me chills every time she hits the stage. I feel oh like she God. gives me 120% and I just love, 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 love her. She's a great <laughs> entertainer, horrible actor. Actually, and, she, and she ugly too. Who are you talking about? Nah, she is not ugly at all. But she ain't the cute one. Now, I hear you. Beyonce is 
Beyonce yeah. is iconic and great at everything else except, except acting. acting. Wow. Yeah, she can't act she well. trash, I trash. Agree with that. Even when she, did you see her on um, Gold Member? She goes, ah, da, 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 da. She trash, so I trash. Like her. And then she has just started, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't know. Even when she, movie. even when she just voice acting, because she ruined the Lion King. She trash. In trash. scary <laughs> movies, <laughs> in scary <laughs> movies, Black people are known to make it out alive and make it through anything. How Ooh, the hell what, do you what scary movie you been watching? A movie? What scary movies you been first. watching? We used to get killed. What first. the scared the black people be the first people to die? Yeah. When you watch when you're oh. watching horror movies, when you're watching horror uh, movies, there's two, there's two things that are constant. Number one, you the black person, the black person is gonna die first. First, yes. And then whoever the first people that has sex in this movie, they're gonna die next. That's it. Oh, I didn't know the sex thing. I didn't know about that one. Just look back. Just think about all of the Halloween movies and all of the Friday the Thirteenth movies. They oh, all I had an that. ambiguous sex scene, and then after that ambiguous sex scene, they died. They're going down. Okay, I, I, what's your next one? My my number one favorite place that I have to travel before I die. Bucket list. Yeah. Okay. Boom, 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 Jamaica. Jamaica. <laughs> yeah. I have to go to Jamaica. Do you understand me? That's, All right. that's, it's that's, that's, that's very possible. That's easy. Yeah, I know. Been it's very possible. Hours. But I haven't been. So and I'm just me, saying, that's okay. number let one. Let me tell you, Airbnb has changed life. You understand me? Mm. We, had, we had an entire apartment, an entire two-bedroom apartment in downtown Montego Bay. And it was $43 a night. What? When was that? Last year in Jamaica. Mm. An entire oh, apartment, an entire Airbnb apartment in downtown Montego Bay. We were two miles away from the beach. Wow. wow. And I it just was love $43 a night. Wow. Yeah, I love their culture. Yeah. I just love the Rasta. Yeah. I don't know. I just love, I want to go to Jamaica. So I'm sorry. Are we, are we trying to, yeah, I was about to say, are we trying to avoid talking about the weed? The whole country grows weed. <laughs> <laughs> That too. That okay, too. That's, not, that's, that's not one. That's not why. But that is. They can't fall under the um. You know, the list of why. <laughs> like we went to All a right. club. We went to a club that was in a cave on the beach. Like they had. They had hung lights and put chairs and a bar in a liter in a literal cave on mm. the beach. But right. you could you could barely walk in there because the smoke was thicker than the oxygen. Mm. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Kristen. What's your next one? And um, I'll do um, my favorite. She's making these up as she go. Look at this. Yes, she is. <laughs> no, I'm not. I got a couple <laughs> of them. I got things written down. That okay, I'll do again. my favorite type of music okay. is R and B. So I love old school music. I like to listen to. I know, like. Start, um, ninety percent of the songs. If you ask, girl, what you know about what you know about old school R&B, girl? Man, I love love. You, she what, you know, what you know oh, about yeah. Ro what you know they about Rose Royce music, and Al Green, my music girl? And her like, why are you listening to my music? In your now, room? my thing you is, know, that's I why may I got not be from. able to tell you who sings it, but I definitely know that's all what, of the ad libs and every syllable. That's where I got. <laughs> that's what you. You Me? right there, yeah. That's where I got my love for old school R and B from. Yeah, right there. That's right. That's right. Oh, I don't know nothing. Rose Y'all don't know nothing look. about Harold Melvin and the Blue Note. Who? What? But don't make me pull. Out, don't, don't make me pull out a playlist in here that'll change your life, son. <laughs> What's <laughs> going on by Mar <laughs> Marvin Gaye? Don't make me pull right, out a playlist in here. Okay. So I had my top five, right? So I had this argument on Facebook the other day. My top five are movies that F me up as a kid. Because <laughs> of what? <laughs> movies that F me up as a kid. Ooh, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that is right. a good one. I know two so, I could have done I'm gonna that. Start, I'm going to start with number three, right? Okay. And number three for me was Roots. Roots messed me up as a kid. Mm, okay. Messed me up. Because at that time, you know, we lived in we lived in Norcross then, so I was going to a predominantly white school, 
Ooh. And now I got all of this massive, this massive hatred for the people from the mountains of caucus shoved into my face by roots. And then I have to go to school and look at all of these rice skinned people. And <laughs> right. Roots messed me up as a kid. Okay. Right. I love roots though. And they haven't played it in a long time, but I, know. I remember seeing it for the first time and, and was um I remember we was living in East Lake of course and we were sitting in front of the T V in my mom's room and we were all watching it together. It was roots. it was interesting. It was interesting. That TV wow. is my favorite place. That TV uh -huh. is the only TV on earth I know that stayed on TVS for 30 years. <laughs> wow. Stayed on one channel. And if you turned that channel, it would be smoke in the city. TBS, that channel 17? It was back uh -huh. then. It's channel 7. Now. Look at you all. Look at, look at you, little young old school. That ain't no I young old that. school. It's, it's all, it's burned in all our 17 out yeah. 36. So, yeah. Okay, so my number two, number two movie that effed me up as a kid was Candyman. Oh, oh my God, I love Candyman, Candyman. Dude, now as an adult, now as an adult, I love Candyman. The whole series, even that second one that probably shouldn't have been made, it was trash. But still, <laughs> I love Candyman because I love horror movies. Like I'll sit here, I was like, she thinks I'm crazy because I'll black out my entire apartment. The only thing in here will be my TV and my surround sound, that's the only thing on. And I'll sit there and watch horror movies by myself. She thinks I'm crazy. But yeah. Candyman, back then, nope. Yes, you are. Uh, yep, nope. I used, to put, I used to put my towel on the on the mirror in the bathroom when I went to the bathroom. No. <laughs> Cover the mirror up. That's that movie funny. ruined uh, So here's what killed me. Okay. I put this up on Facebook the other day. The number one movie that I still, I've, I've literally, I'm 38 years old. I've seen this movie once because I cannot bring myself to watch it again. Okay. And it is, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's called Arachnophobia. Oh, yes, I've seen Arachnophobia, the uh, spiders. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> Snake. Mm -mm. Is it snakes or spiders? Mm -mm. It's spiders. Well, it's I saw spiders. one. I saw one. <laughs> gotta go. Go. <laughs> I saw the spider. I saw it. Where'd it go? <laughs> nope. Let me tell you. I <laughs> Look, let me tell you. And she, like she thinks it's funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Oh I, like I, after watching that movie, Auntie, look, after watching that movie, I did not eat cereal for a month. Because you remember that one scene where she goes in there and pours the cereal out and the spider comes rolling out of the box? Yeah, okay. I do remember that. Oh, I'll tell you what, one no. thing I do remember about that movie is one man got ready to put his slippers on and when one was And kid, there was one in his shoe. Yes, one in his shoe. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> look. Oh, my skin is crawling. Okay. Oh. This is just. Woo. So I cannot, I cannot whatsoever watch spiders on a TV. <laughs> I okay, cannot. It, somebody else it understand. Makes <laughs> me scared. Like, man, look. Yes. Oh my God. Especially, I still. Especially on a high definition television where you see man. them fall on your screen like I can't that. Do it. I can't do it, Auntie. I've seen I have I've seen that movie once in my life. I cannot bring. No, are you guys again. both afraid of spiders in real life? I am. No, I'm, I'm not afraid I of them. I just don't like them. Same thing. There's a difference. No, it's not. It's not. But there There's is a difference. difference because I don't like stock socks. I'm not afraid of them. Although people say I am. I'm not yes. afraid of them. No, I, I just them. don't like them. No. <laughs> and I literally, I literally, I literally have a video because I shot a spider. I shot it. I'm not even going to lie. I shot it. That was overkill. It, you, not one. No, it wasn't. I really needed a bigger gun. You should have seen the size of that thing. It was gonna eat my face. Listen, <laughs> I shot. Not gonna eat your face. It was gonna eat you my face. I shot. Help. <laughs> you need help. You that, probably need some help. Man, that I swear, I went back and forth with people about this movie for three hours because oh everybody's like, "Oh, it's just this. Oh, it's just that." And oh, well, what? Let you wake up one night with a giant jungle spider on your face and see how jungle you jungle like. spider. <laughs> oh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, because you remember that's where they found it in the jungle, and then it yeah. climbed into that casket with the dead body and then it made itself back over here because it fed on the body. No, I, I got time for that. No, nope. uh, uh, uh. ruined my life. I still cannot watch that, and I have it. I have so it. So, you collect. can't watch the movie again, and Gio, you I, can't watch no movie like that at all. Can't do it. I, can't I don't do know it. what watch movies, they put me to sleep, even scary movies. 
I cannot even, I'm 38 years old. I've seen that movie once in my life. I cannot bring myself to watch you it. You can't bring yourself to watch it again? Can't do it. As an adult, you may not feel the same way. Nope, can't do it. I'm, my skin is crawling right now. Just talking oh, I about it. On that like, you can't hear, you hear that sound? It sound like sandpaper? That's me rubbing my knees because my skin is crawling. <laughs> <laughs> my skin is crawling and I'm rubbing my knees. Oh my I need, gosh. I need to do something with my hands. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my God, well I guess we can wrap this up. We just wanted to make sure that we share with people who we are, <clears throat> some of the things we are. We gotta do this again um, to keep bring out some more, let's just to get, kind of get people some, uh, some more insights of who we are. <clears throat> well, that was fun, that was interesting. Man, I am tipsy. Oh my God. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I'm back. Yeah. Well. Yeah, been Don we Julio been harsh. Don Julio been keeping me company all night. Oh Lord Jesus. Well, all right. Well, let's just say good night to everybody. I mean, good day. I mean, happy day. Um, enjoy the rest of the day. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Somebody, rest gonna rest somebody gonna have some wine. Ain't no <laughs> <laughs> it's from good, good somewhere. Good night. 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 That's right. Yes. <sighs> what you drinking on, Jill? Sweet tea. Yeah. Look. You should have made that an art of armor. You don't you just can't look at this. Sweet look, tea. you ever seen his face before? Right. <laughs> Ain't nobody buying oh, yeah. that. But thank you guys for watching, and we'll be with you guys again next Wednesday, two o'clock. YouTube, go subscribe to our channel. You'll get conversations like this, situations yes. like that, all kind of things. We'll come back and talk to y'all guys. We're going to see y'all next Wednesday. Ugh, spiders. Bye. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>